All right. So the way I train is I try to use strict form, making sure I'm engaging the muscle, performing my reps in a nice controlled manner, because you're going to build more muscle and get better results when you're actually engaging the muscle versus just using momentum to get the, get the weight up. In this case though, what you just saw, I had just completed four sets of strict rep, strict form, dumbbell, shoulder press, seated. So I was using lighter weight with very strict form. I wanted to test my strength and see where I was. Overhead barbell shoulder press is not something I've been focusing on a lot over the years. Before the pandemic, I was working out at the gym, so I was using shoulder press machines, also sometimes seated dumbbell shoulder press. But now that I'm working out at home, I don't really have all those machines, so I started doing overhead shoulder press. And I'm increasing my strength on it. So basically what I wanted to do here is just kind of test my strength, do some lower rep heavy sets, see where I was. And for the most part, I was using my shoulders you know, to, to lift the weight, engaging the muscle. But I do know that I was using some momentum. Um, in certain situations, I don't always think that that's a bad thing. And I think that there can actually be some benefit to it. Assuming that you're not sacrificing form in a way that would hurt yourself. But overall, you know, speaking generally, the majority of the reps you do, you want to be good quality on point reps because when you're engaging the muscle, squeezing the muscle, that's what kind of help you get more growth. Um, but in this case, like, like I, I said, you know, I was kind of testing myself. So I wouldn't do the majority of my reps the way I did that set. You know, I wouldn't be using momentum on every rep. It was just something that I happened to do. This set, so I just wanted to talk about that real quick and explain my thoughts. 